There we go, James. We're live. Episode 49. Let's uh, start this day off. Technical difficulties. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you for that, ladies and gentlemen. That's in sync. Here we go from back in the 1990s. Okay, we had a big weekend, long weekend, fucking worn out from the weekend. Um, we went to Florida, Florida for Kyle's birthday. We were supposed to do a couple pods. We did do a couple pods. We did a really good pod with Bradley Martin. He's such a good podcaster, super successful dude, 32 years old. Um, we went pretty deep with Bradley on the, the Timbo Sugar Show, and he talked about a lot of his insecurities, a lot of his unhealthy habits, and uh, shit like that. So we go pretty deep in that podcast. That was really good. And then, uh, yeah, we had Steiny. We'll go in more into the trip here in a bit, but God, it feels good to be back. Good feels so fucking good to be back to my morning routine. Woke up first thing in the morning, took a beautiful stool, back to my bidet, love that thing. Uh, hung out, hung upside down with my red light therapy, got the blood flowing, got the red light on the skin, felt phenomenal, and then had a good fucking coffee, a good quality coffee that Mariah makes. She put some thorn collagen in there, uh, organic beans, AeroPress, get me up and running, read for 30 minutes, read a, a book that I've been enjoying for 30 minutes, and then went on about probably maybe a mile and a half, two mile run, came back, did a full dip under the cold plunge. The full dips under the cold plunge, 39 degrees are serious. Those motherfuckers will wake you up. After that came inside, Mariah fixed a beautiful oat bowl. So the trip was fun. The trip was fun overall, but dude, I'm just not used to going three days. Wait, that was three days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We came back Tuesday. Oh yeah, so almost four days of just doing not one thing healthy, literally not one thing healthy. Drink, drinking some water. Drink some water. I did. We we did drink a water a handful of times. Me and JX did. Uh, drinking, maybe some drugs here and there. Sleeping bad and just not exercising, not doing anything healthy. It's like oh, it's it's hard to really really enjoy your time when you're used to doing healthy shit every day, and then you go don't do any healthy shit. But it was fun. It was fun. And we got to connect with uh, some of the Nelk boys, the Full Send boys, that we possibly could be teaming up with them for our Timbo Sugar Show and having Happy Dad or Full Send. But we have to talk to them and have a little meeting or whatever. But we got to connect with our boy Steiny, who's now on the Full Send podcast, had a full podcast with him, uh, heard about his life and how he got where he's at. And then we ate dinner with Jimmy Gambles. And uh, they're all cool kids. They literally remind me of us in our group, Schmitty, with Sono and Warlike and all of us. But their job is to party. That's their job. To turn up, make content, promote Happy Dad, and party. And fuck, I'm not jealous of that, dude. I'm just not. You, you see it on Instagram. You see it on these videos and vlogs. You're like, whoa, they're living literally the life. But I mean, I don't know, dude. I don't know. What I want other to do, side, other side. What I want to do with the Jobin name, like I'm not. We're into the healthier side, not partying, dude. I want to make content. I want to make funny things, like skits and stuff like that. Like we can go a different direction. Just because they do the partying side doesn't mean we can't do like the more funny. Yeah, you no, know what I mean, no, for sure. Okay. But I'm just but, saying, in general, for most people, you see that and you're like, wow, dude, that's just. But it's like, dude, if you if you're just partying and that's kind of your only goal is just kind of partying, it's it's a good way to add anxiety to your life and your body to just be unhealthy especially drinking the fucking alcohol that shit's poison like going to the club was fun i mean i'm not super great at, at the clubs at just kind of being in the moment i'm just not really good at it. i mean you're kind of keeping your eye out for some strange possibly and jay you're kind of similar don't you think at the clubs it's just like it's just not really our spot it was a good time i'm not yeah. saying that oh yeah i'm the same i think I'm I'm very like introvert. I don't really like just getting fucked up, I guess. And dude, for anyone who hasn't been there into the like the Miami club scene, 
It's so different. Within a mile radius, there was probably three, four, five, probably more clubs that were popping. And with hot chicks, like fucking chicks, fake titties, fake butt. Not saying that's hot, but there's just so many, like, may I say sluts out. <laughs> and I don't know. Fuck, dude, that's a good way to get burnt out. But I'm, I'm, I'm about tapped out on partying for a good little while. But like I said, it was really good to be around all the all the full send boys and the nelk boys and become closer friends with a lot of them so the trip overall was good the yacht was fucking crazy the yacht i think the kid said brand new that yacht would be 16 million dollars fucking giant yacht uh that was kind of cool wasn't it jay yeah the yacht was fun that's like the only time i really drank like a couple yeah. happy dads and then that's it the whole trip yeah the yacht just cruising down i don't know if that was a river or what that was we we're floating on but the houses and the yachts and just miami's like a whole different world it's super super crazy um yeah kyle had his kyle was supposed to come on the pod he ended up getting a little too hungover and he had his girlfriend there and supposedly goes way harder without the girlfriend uh but yeah we were able to go to bed decently early each night weren't we jay yeah well i kept leaving like early too like yeah. from the club when i'd get enough footage <clears throat> and i kind of started to feel it like okay it's like dying out well at least on my end yeah and so then that I, fucking left, I left like probably two hours before you guys <laughs> yeah i mean i got to bed 2 30 each night which was real nice sugar he, you know how he is yeah that's that motherfucker likes to go till six <laughs> fuck that and every time he'd call me in the morning he was up at breakfast before we even woke up and he went to bed five six <laughs> i'm like this kid's a fucking freak. i think he's feeling it now oh he has to be he's got an emergency trip to london for i can't say why but you'll you guys will find out in a couple of days but it's going to be really cool i was really really blessed with losing my birth certificate and passport so i didn't have to go <laughs> literally that miami flight's almost five hours uh yeah. but we were able to fly first class back and that was oh, your yeah, first that, that was nice first time first class first class i'm like you have way more leg room you have very comfortable chairs they bring you out a hot meal yeah. with dessert constantly filling you up with water yeah. um they treat you different <laughs> <laughs> they treat you i was like it. damn did you feel a little bougie yeah i was just like okay that's yeah. the way you're gonna fly yeah. now yeah for sure first <laughs> class but i guess to london london's like 11 and a half hour flight i'm like dude i don't know about that shit thankfully i don't have my passport but the passport's on the way because we got some other business we're gonna ha have to handle overseas here in a couple months uh you were supposed to go though jay and then last second you're like hey the, the ufc is only playing paying for plus one yeah so he's gonna bring imran uh i bet you were pumped about that i was like I, i've always wanted to go to london but at the same time like damn we'd only be there for one day we're gonna be flying 20 hours total and literally like, f literally fly there ufc picks you up go do what you're gonna do go back to the room go back to the hotel get on the flight back sean said hit for his flight it's business class so he'll have a bed oh that's it which changes it quite a bit but yeah, I've just been feeling like a piece of a fat turd, dude. I mean, I haven't been able to train for almost three weeks now because my shoulder. I've been doing the best I can doing shit and just trying to heal it up. But it's like, ugh, it's fucking what? annoying. What? How much you weighing? <laughs> One ninety. Don't cap. Ninety five. He's <laughs> like Dow right now. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. A little heavy. A little heavier than I'm used to being. No. Two five. I'll never hit two ten. If I hit two ten, I'm being a fucking piece of shit. Or I'm seeing Dr. Jack down the hall and getting <laughs> jacked. Um, yeah. Oh boy Gambles. Oh. Jimmy Gambles. Jimmy Gambles. <laughs> yeah. Friends with Kyle. And it's funny because Jimmy Gambles is like, he's like, kind of my job is like at the parties to just be the life of the party and dance. But yeah. he's a cool motherfucker. Yeah. That we could, we could hang out with and uh, be pretty. Uh, yeah. Do they get like buddies. exhausted and burnt out or they're just so used to it that they love it? I think it? they do because like Kyle and them were saying like, oh, we're taking three weeks off. Like that's yeah. what they say though yeah which yeah. they won't but yeah they get burnt out every one of them gets burnt out it's so sporadic and i mean you only can do so much party into where it's like fuck yeah yeah because you do see the youtube videos and then all these young guys want to be them yeah and party like them and it's like they make it look way cooler i mean it's always fun like good yeah. time but it's not what they make it look like or they don't look super like super super happy and healthy yeah 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 for sure well and like you enjoy really doing your healthy habits and when you haven't ever experienced that for like a certain amount of time to like create those habits you don't even know what i feel like good feels like oh for sure you know so you know what good feels like so you're like i don't feel good doing this i'm not enjoying this mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. That's just kind of different. But it's like being kind of a pussy, being like, I'm not enjoying this because we were enjoying this. I mean, we get yeah, we, we get to eat the nicest fun. restaurants, yeah. seeing all that stuff. But well, and a lot of people would like kill to be there where you guys oh, yeah. are, and so like you're there, you might as well enjoy it. Be here now or no? How you been, Schmitty? Life's good, Chant. Life's good. Is it? How's yeah. your first uh, monsoon season going? That was fun. I'm a storm guy. It's crazy. I love huh? storms. Oh yeah, the light. That was the first time where it hurt to look at lightning. Get lit is like lighting up the whole sky. Yeah. Back at home, we would have we have some really cool storms. Back at home, lightning shows like that, but not as bright, and they felt a little longer. Like they mm-hmm. just shoot across the sky, and you'd be like, for a split second or even a couple, it looks like it's daytime. Yeah. It was cool. Well, even the Snapchats you were sending me, it's, with those monsoons, it sounds like the fucking world's ending. Yeah, it's I love scary. It. I'm a storm person. I love it. Did you guys sit like on your porch and watch it? Oh, yeah. We were out. The, well, not on our porch, but we were out our window looking out our windows. Me and Brendan were having fun. Just fucking jerking it. Oh, no. <laughs> just acting like there's like we were doing scenes and movies and stuff. We're, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. we're goofy. But losing power sucked. Yeah. How long was the power out? Oh, I, well, we finally just said, fuck it, went to bed. How do you even sleep? Oh, wow. It yeah. gets hot quick. Yeah. Like real quick. Yeah, you realize like you'd die without AC. Yeah, we were basically running around in our boxers just yeah. doing bro shit. <laughs> <laughs> Danny and Elena amazing. came over like early that morning and their neighbor had to like move a tree so she could get out and uh-huh. she had to like manually open the garage because everything was out and she uh-huh. said they didn't sleep like at all. They went in the car at like 2.30 in the morning to like uh-huh. turn the AC on because it was so hot. But she couldn't drive in it because it was raining so bad. Yeah, you know the little, in the back of Sean's house, the little uh, patio with the barbecue, and it mm-hmm. blew all that shit the fuck out. Oh, it's no. It's gone. It, oh, it blew into no. the, the neighbor's yard and hit some shit. But Barbie. literally, the barbecue's gone. The oh. whole, the couch is gone. Everything, it's like a tornado hit it. The roof is gone. The whole patio cover. That sucks. That really does suck. Yeah, it's crazy. And, it, and poor Sean, he gets the I, call like Danny and... And uh, the baby are sleeping in the car, and he's just fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just had like a horrible night. Oh, he felt he felt that. bad. Oh yeah, that's what she said. He's like fucking A's. Yeah, but like, they but came over it, and hung out all day because they didn't have power. When we tried to look at flights Monday, yeah, and it was literally like thousands of dollars per flight, and we and they wouldn't have reimbursed us for our tickets already. So we're like, fuck, let's just tough it out. And it was get really one more only pod. like ten hours difference, really. Yeah, yeah, so. That was good. I mean, other than that, the, I, they, they had five yachts together. The vlog will come out soon, but five yachts tied together and just a party. That's just crazy. a party. Um, yeah, the water was nice. Do you guys go swimming off the yacht or no? I was just kind of soaking my feet. Jay? <laughs> what was he doing, Jay? Was I soaking him? <laughs> yeah i was i was sitting by yourself yeah it's like fuck yeah we're up there for a bit i don't know why i have problems interacting to with chicks kind of when i'm drunk or it's kind of hard huh jay when, you, when you're drunk or not drunk when i'm drunk he hates I small like talk when you're drunk yeah that's probably why that's he hates why he hates small talk but it's a part of the process boss. yeah <laughs> maybe i just need to get better at it he gets annoyed so, of it yeah. real fast I yeah know, i could tell when owen too i had i mean i had couple opportunities but went on two which is okay uh yeah let's hear it schmidt i give my i give my little bean story yeah yeah is that cool yeah. um because i'm the op like i'm nervous as hell to talk to people and shit i'm just nervous right and i get i'm Are shy you? you don't people, seem that way that's what everyone tells me oh schmitty how can you be shy well if i'm ever talking i'm nervous like that's just how i am so dude when i took that bean in vegas with everybody being at that pool party i hated the after effect feeling like shit after but during i just loved how carefree i was Mm -hmm. made me feel like i didn't care what people were thinking i was able to talk and me and brendan are kind of different from you champ we like whenever we talk to people we like learning about them and knowing like what they like what their shit is about that's just how we get and i was like that at that pool party just loving it mm-hmm. then everyone dipped on us and me and brendan were just left stranded felt like for hours at the at the hotel you guys <laughs> yeah and i took an elevator just went to the second floor and then we bumped into daniel and uh, Al- lana so we talked to them for a couple seconds went back down everyone's gone yeah and it felt like hours but it, yeah imagine it imagine sexual intercourse with a female on that dude i was taking a shower back at the jobin's house and the water was hitting me and i I was like oh shit that water feels good and i'm like damn sex would feel amazing and then i was like whoa because see 
I'm kind of bad like Sean, dude. Like, I might like Chris Farley out this world. You never know, dude. And I got to watch that because I came to pressure with that fucking thing. At first, I wasn't going to take it. I mean, I with that kind of shit, dude, unless I know where it came from or I know someone who, who took it and, I, and they're a reliable person, I won't touch that shit. And I don't think anyone should. No, that's it's what scary. I was, that's what I was thinking about after. Like, you have no idea what's in it. Zero percent. It could be straight yeah. up methy. Or no. fentanyl. I know. That's something. Scary. Yeah, and it's taken on a lot of my favorite artists. It's shit that I was like, damn. That's why I'm like, man, I better make sure I get through someone who knows somebody. Yeah. Clean stuff. So you can get a little something, something. But still, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but you still have to be careful and like be responsible like when you take it and not you're not taking it every day or like really draining your serotonin and dopamine so you're depressed all the time. I mean, that's what partying does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With big ups, I have big downs. Yes. I mean, if yeah. you're not doing healthy shit 90, 90, 95% of the time, you should not be going near that shit. Mm-hmm. You're just not. You just shouldn't be. Um, you heard of Andrew Tate, Schmitty? No. You haven't? Maybe okay. if I saw his face, but off the name. You got to listen to some of his interviews. This guy's a fucking nut. Mm-hmm. And a lot of shit I don't really agree with, but a lot of shit, it's like he's really funny. Here, listen to this little clip here, ladies and gentlemen. Do you agree? No, I do like traditional. Okay, so you agree. So you're traditional, right? So if you want to talk about traditional, let's talk about tradition. Every single man since the dawn of human time had more than one woman. Every single king, every single emperor, every single sultan, every single conqueror since the dawn of human time had more than one woman. All of them. Every single one. Read a history book. Read the Bible. It's all in there. The Quran. All of it. You want to talk about tradition, it's all there. The only reason your mind is different, the only reason you believe differently is because the society, society has come along and told you something. Yeah, but society, we can change. Like, the world evolves, things change. The world evolves, yeah, that's right. Now, now, now men can't cut their dicks off and their chicks. Do you believe in this shit? You got the f***ing? You believe in any of this crap? It's all a lie. I feel like life's the, about choices. Life is about choices, correct. My point is this. If I had a woman, I would decide not to cheat because I decide. However, I would not see my infidelity as nearly, anywhere near, even 1% as disgusting as female infidelity. Because female infidelity dis- involves emotion. You will not sleep with a man you don't like. I can sleep with a woman I don't like. It's a completely different thing. I can be head over heels in love with a woman, ready to die for her, ready to take a bullet for her, protect her, give her all the money in the world, make sure she has a beautiful family, a nice big house, all of it. And I'll still f*** that bitch. Watch me. <laughs> a woman won't do that. So don't lie to me and pretend. No, you won't. Any woman who will sit here and say, I can f*** dudes and not care about them is fundamentally broken her soul thoughts on that i see i agree well kind of in, in in your sp- spot too right like you've only had sex with pretty much me so for you to do it with another guy would you have to like him because i could fuck a chick and actually very much dislike her like i do not like you but i'll still fuck you yeah i could see you doing that uh it's more like trust you not necessarily like you you think? Yeah. You think you could? I don't know. It yeah. It depends. But that's interesting that, I mean, the history, I mean, we haven't read it ourselves, so we're just listening from him, but the Bible and talk, talking about that leaders and successful guys had more than one woman. But then they decided to change that in the Bible. That's what, remember my mom was saying that even? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, well, we'll change that because that doesn't really fit the mold. It's like, why are you allowed to change that? I thought I thought the Bible was written by these guys through God. But then whoever and you're allowed it, to change it? Yeah, whoever interprets it can change it however they want. Yeah. Say like the the person who made Jehovah's Witnesses, Charles Taze Russell, he got to kind of configure some stuff and Yeah. Like Ugh. What do you think of that, Schmitty? What do you think about that, Schmitty? Well, uh the first little part cuz he was was rambling. He was going at speed of light. Yeah. But uh as far as when it comes to like transgender and stuff, I don't care about what people do as long as you don't hurt he said about cutting. His, that's what that's what I took from it real quick. And it's weird how people can say something and then you put it in your brain and it goes around and you think about what you take. Yeah. You know, as long as no one's doing anything illegal or hurting anyone, who fucking cares? Like, that's just my point. But then when it comes to, like, I could be a big pimpin'. Like, I could be pimpin' and have a bunch of chicks and that, that's okay. But that's just how I'm not like that. Yeah. I'm not really like that, champ. Yeah, uh, yeah for sure. It, now, of course, oh, wouldn't that be awesome? Like being able to ha- have a girl. And then, but you already said last pod that you're not really the kind of the alpha male type. Yeah, which is yeah, completely okay. Like I could be okay with just being with one one person. Yeah, for sure. For I'm sure. sorry, but he's saying if a girl cheats, it's way worse than if a guy cheats. Well, yeah, and I don't agree with that because like I, I'm if I don't find a girl like attractive and or if I don't really like her, I'm not going to have sex with her. Yeah, that's how I and no matter how horny I am. 
and he talks about a high valued man versus a high valued woman he's like women should have their kill count or how many people they had sex with on their forehead and uh he was talking about like what a high valued man should do a high valued man should provide for his girl he should just like do everything to provide and a high valued woman should uh i'll be a woman who's just loyal to you and does all the shit and takes care of your shit i don't know he's he's an interesting guy to talk to though he's very interesting he's controversial and he doesn't give a fuck what he says and he's really kind of funny but uh andrew tate everyone was telling me check out this guy check out this guy uh yeah so that was kind of funny let me listen to one more one more second here broken okay, well she's broken then but she's still doing it well if she's broken she ain't anywhere near me i don't want no broken bitch near me <laughs> i'm definitely sure women would treat cheat on you you think so mm. Well, those are the kind of women I will not associate with. Females shouldn't even want to cheat. And the reason women can't cheat is because there's no way to ensure paternity of a female's cheating. Modern science in and of itself, just because you can now find out who the dad is, doesn't undo 5,000 years of human evolution in which a female had to be loyal to one man so we knew exactly who the father was. If a man has multiple partners, you know who the mother is, you know who the father is. If a woman has multiple partners, nobody knows who the dad is, nobody wants to look after the kid, and a woman with a child without a father or without a man around in the ancient world was toast. He talks a lot of nothing. Uh, see, it's, he has interesting points, doesn't he? Yeah, but a lot of it comes from, like, the man's side. The way societies always have come up, it's always from, like, the man's point of view or, like, the yeah. man's in charge. Yeah. And, like, I mean, Paul Cech's talked about, like, places where, like, the women are in charge and the women have. And it's, like, they're very nurturing and it's they don't try to just, like, use it for themselves. Like, yeah. the earth or people and it's just completely different. He also says, he's like, men are the smartest people in the world, but also the dumbest. There's the dumbest people in the world are men, and women stand more in the kind of the middle ground, yeah. which who fucking knows? He could just be saying that. It depends on the person, but I mean, you could like generalize. Yeah. But yeah, check out some of his shit. It's funny. Um, yeah. Nate Diaz Kamzat got announced, uh, and Charles Islam got announced for October 22nd in Abu Dhabi. Two fucking huge fights, but god damn it, dude. Nate might get trashed on. Nate's fighting in October? Com he's no, I think earlier than that. Oh. September. He's fighting Kamzat. Like fuck. Kamzat walks around probably two oh five. I mean, probably in decent shape two oh five. He's a one eighty five er. Very fucking dominant on the ground. You saw how easily he lifted up jingling, walked him across the cage, fucking dumped him on his head trapped his wrist and just beat the tar out of him oh I, I mean but imagine imagine if nate fucking smoked him with the two or, or or ended up catching him in a submission which i think is very very unlikely the odds for that are going to be so fucking one-sided dude i'm just uh hope like what do you think nate shows up with that attitude is it does he really even care or is he just putting on that facade that he doesn't really care but maybe he's training a hundred percent he's training I, so? I mean you see all his vlogs he's coming out with he's he's training mm -hmm. but i mean there's there's just different breeds out there because it would be fun if nate spoiled the show oh, it would, would be <laughs> so fun and it's the last one i was oh contract. my god be sick it, it would lead up to him being able to do what he wanted in boxing with jake paul or whatever whatever the road would be oh it'd be so but it would be fun and we got some pointing these pointed hums out going what motherfucker <laughs> it would be a lot of fun but i am like you said the th thing i'm most worried about is the power and strength of hamza we'll see will Dude. you bet on nate no <laughs> no like oh. if that happens dude let me look real real quick nate diaz let He's me a, see. it's a massive it's massive what the, uh, the betting odds right oh now. i'm sure i'm sure yeah. they are but i want to i just want to see if nate's even fought anyone that's a wrestler like that like someone Dude, the thing the diaz brothers man i've been watching ufc for 15 years now and when back when the book them first started everyone hated them if i if you had told that schmitty back then like oh this is what nate diaz will be here i'd be like what the fuck because <laughs> he's fought everybody he's fought for a long time he's gotten yeah. his ass whooped multiple times inside that cage well he's 20 and 13 yeah dude He's and, been there, done that. I mean, he hasn't fought Kamzat. He yeah. hasn't fought anyone remotely close to Kamzat. His last fights, Leon Edwards, okay, good fight. Jorge Masvidal whooped him. Pettis, decision. Connor, Connor. Who was it that Michael, knocked him out back in the day? Josh Thompson. Yeah. Josh Thompson? Michael Johnson, Rafael DeSantos, Gray Maynard, Josh Thompson, Benson Henderson beat him. Jim Miller, Donald Cerrone, and now he's fighting Kamzat. But when was his last? <laughs> like, bro, come on. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. 
He's I, 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 I'm a big fan of Nate, but he's going to get slaughtered. When was his last fight? Schmitty, he's gonna like his 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 luck, his hope. Mm-hmm. Maybe catch comes up in the guillotine, but I maybe catch him in a triangle, but probably if he not. Caught him with a punch that sent Hamza. Oh yeah, who look who, at look at Gilbert Gilbert Burns uh, through his hardest overhand right, and it smoked comes up right on the true. chin, and he true. walked through it. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I know. I wouldn't bet. I wouldn't bet. But I mean, Diaz. Anything's possible. I Anything. said that against Connor. I, Connor Jose. I remember telling Sean, "I'm like, dude, there's no way Connor takes him takes him out. He takes him out in seconds." I'm like, I'm never saying that again in MMA. Ever saying it's not possible again. Uh, so it's definitely possible, but the percentage is very low. Who's who was whose last fight that you were asking, Raya? No, who, when was Nate's last fight? Because he hasn't fought for a while. Nate's right? last fight was Leon Edwards, June twelfth, twenty twenty one. So over a Ooh. year ago. It was, <laughs> but it's fun though. Champ. It, is. it is fun. Well, it's fun to watch. If if someone's supposed to just get murdered, you still kind of want to watch it. Yeah. Still, you don't always want. I want to see a competitive fight sometimes, but sometimes if you're like, we're about to see a slaughtering. Yeah. That and that's what's so fun and beautiful about this sport because everybody right now is saying, "Oh, this is Nate Diaz's funeral." <laughs> Fucking cool. That's how it was with McConnor. Yeah. Dude, when Nate Diaz slipped that submission and Connor tap, yep. the whole it shook the world. Yeah, dude. no, you're you're, you're totally world. right. But Connor's also a little guy, a, a li- well, little guy, and he's a striker. Yeah. Nate Diaz is jitsu black belt and a good. I mean, this is a terrible matchup. Do you know Nate, the height bro. difference off the top of your head between Nate and Hamza? I think Hamza was six one. So they're rough. They're pretty much the same. Uh, I mean, Kamzat's way bigger, yeah. dude. And they both got well. No, no, Nate's got that here. long, that Kam, long reads. Kamzat's six two. Okay, twenty years old, twenty eight years old. Mm-hmm. Nate Diaz is six foot thirty six years old. Oh, wow. No, thirty seven. Thirty seven. Oh Ooh. God. <laughs> Hold on, how's that chin, baby? Jay, how does it end? <laughs> I think it's just gonna be a doctor, doctor stoppage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a doctor savage. <laughs> I think so too because uh, he bleeds real quick and then I don't know. Nate Diaz is 11 and 0. I mean, Kamzat's 11 and 0. 62, 28 years old. Just got done with that fucking fight with him and Gilbert dude. It was just so goddamn sweet. Okay, Islam Charles. Islam's the favorite. How crazy is that? Wait, I wonder if does it matter cuz it's in Dubai and all that shit or no? Or I don't think that really matters. Think- I don't think that matters. But I was telling you guys Islam is going to have to, if he's if his plan is to take down Charles and whoop him, he's going to have to make, he's not going to be able to make one mistake in 25 minutes. Charles has a ton of weapons to finish Islam. He can KO him. He could submit him. And even if Islam's on top of Charles in the guard, punching him, it's like, yeah, that ground and pound is one of the hardest thing. And those guys are experts at it. But I, if someone's going to beat Islam, it's going to be Charles, dude. And if I had to bet, I would bet Charles. If I had to bet 100 bones, 1,000 bones, I would bet Charles. Who do you got, Schmidt? We're in a jiu-jitsu house, I can tell. <laughs> Dude, Islam's Dude. sick at jiu-jitsu, too. Like, yeah. sick at jiu-jitsu. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But in that freestyle wrestling champ, dude, he's got the power of Khabib on his side, man. Yes. Uh, I think he's going to pick your boy up, and he's going to sit him down by Khabib. Yep. Coach Khabib. Yep. And he's going to give him a little over-the-head lessons, and then it's. I think your boy's getting submitted. I think and and he's getting submitted. I think I think Charles is gonna get submitted. I know. And here's the thing: I know a lot of people probably hate me, think you're crazy. I love Charles. His career and his story has been outstanding. Oh, From again funny. watching him, I watched him live twice before he was champ. You, I, if you would have told me he's gonna be champ, I'm like, wow. He's got a beautiful story, and he's an amazing fighter. He gets knocked down, and he had a little silly stuff. Oh, I I need to get knocked down, and I come back better. Dude, Islam's got hands. And I think he's a little, I think with the hands, he's the, a little better than Khabib. Is he better than Justin Gaethje with hands? Because Justin Gaethje got KO'd, if you didn't forget, remember. Just, oh man, if you get Justin backpedaling, he's got the better hands. And, and who's, ever, Justin who's ever backpedaled him? Habib and yeah. Charles. I think Islam is another level that just hasn't, we haven't seen much of. It's been, we got to see him, but it's just not a rapid. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of pressure on Islam, dude. Oh, dude, I, th- I think he's got it. 
I think he's. It's I would a lot bet, of pressure. I would I'm so excited for that fight. I know because this is the big one: freestyle wrestling, jujitsu, baby. Which one's better? Because I, I, I recall, I'm not 100, percent but didn't Habib say if Charles took out Islam, he would come back? Ooh, I don't know. I think way back in the bit, he's like, if there was a lightweight who took out everyone and took out Islam, I would come back and fight him. Dude, if I'm Charles and I'm on top of Islam, just beating his ass, I would look at Khabib and I'd be like, where yet? I'd call him out. Him being on top of him, I don't think is realistic. Him being on his back, I think is realistic. Ooh. Maybe he slips. Maybe he gets dropped. Who knows? He, he, start, he wants to get up. When you get up in MMA, you got to go to all fours. Yeah. And if you go to all fours with a really good back taker, which Charles is, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to yeah. be in a body lock. Do you think this the cancels out and they stand up the whole time? If that's the case, Islam's in trouble. You think so? Dude, look at fucking Charles, the way he marches people down. He marches them down and then he beats the fuck out of them. Look how easy he made Kevin Lee look. Is this for Kevin the belt? Kevin Lee, champ. Yeah. Um, Okay, who's a big, oh, yeah. big Kevin name? Lee, yeah, yeah, who's a big name that Islam's made look easy? Who's his biggest name? Well, he just made Hooker look really easy, but people would be like, oh, Hooker. But exactly, you would say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's only because of what Hooker, you know, he's a it's me or you type fighter. What do you mean? It's either he's going to die or you're going to die. I mean, yeah, it's a beautiful matchup. Okay, yeah. so Bobby Green. <laughs> yeah, that's his last fight. And then Hooker. Yeah. And then Tiago Moises. That's what okay. I was saying earlier. We haven't really got okay. to see it. Drew Dober. That's what I'm saying. And Drew Dober's tough. I wouldn't Do talk. Yeah, Drew Dober's super tough. Yeah. But Davi Ramos, very tough. Yeah. But I did say, I was just saying, we haven't seen it much. But I think with the power, dude, that could be power. There's something special there, man. That's a force that can't be stopped yet. And exactly. You said Habib power, not Islam. But listen. It's in the blood. It's in their fabrics of their camp. Listen to Charles' last fights. Kevin Lee smoked him. Tony Ferguson beat him up. Michael Chandler smoked him. Dustin Poirier smoked him. Justin Gaethje smoked him. Oh yeah. Dude. Oh yeah. Dude. Ali and was you saying, think Islam's gonna fuck up Charles? Yeah. Ali was saying some funny shit. He was like, "Who's he fought?" And it's like, and I was even like you. I was like, "Kind of uh, everybody." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys but should make a bet. I would make a bet. I would slap a bet on this one. Fifty bucks. Browse. No, I don't do no. See, you don't believe in Islam. I believe Champ, Charles. I can't lose these. These are all I got here, man. These are all <laughs> I got. I'll do beard. I'll do beard. You I've had this thing for three beard. years. Huh? Both do your beard. Yeah. Beard. I look like a douche. Beard, beard, beard. If it's so do I. I look weird. That's how you believed in him. I do. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. I'd go beard. I mean, Charles. Beard is gonna, I, feel, I feel like Charles is gonna beat him. It's gonna be an awesome. I think it's gonna be an awesome fight. I'm we, really excited. And we might be there for that one. So that'll be fucking be crazy. Sick crazy oh can off a ufc talk real quick unless you get, can i talk about something with you guys that i think would be sick yeah i, I we got to find a way to get a hold of netflix on that show uh building a sex room have you guys seen it yet oh yeah we were watching that you guys are all watching it how were far was that up? Uh, no, i was just like man that would be so cool because you know it goes into depth it's more than just a sex room yeah they you know can know? make it kind of any way anything yeah. that they're into yeah and the stories behind the couples and yeah. stuff i was thinking about you guys because right. you got your cool horse story you got your uh jujitsu story so it's just like It'd be fun learning about you guys, and then you you guys having a cool sex room. Oh, That'd God. be sick. Yeah, because when you think of sex room, you think like the first one. I think, or she's like makes it like a dungeon. That's kind of what you think of, but then that's not what they are. Yeah, they're so in there. Yeah, the moods, how every room has a theme. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they're sweet. Yeah, I mean a swing, like a sex swing. If you've ever seen those, that'd be cool to have. You could just make the girl be spread eagle in whatever <laughs> position you want. What about you, Jay? Would um, you have a sex room? No, Jay, Jay likes missionary. He likes to just kind of hump missionary a little bit. And I'm saving myself for marriage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see uh, Al Jones TJ in Abu Dhabi too? Fucking A. The same dude. card, right? Yep, October 22nd. Yes, uh, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Al Jones TJ. And then this week, we're going to find out about a big fight. Everyone's going to be fucking pumped. Everyone's gonna, a lot of people are going to be mad. A lot of people are like, what the fuck? You think so? Bro, yes. Fuck yes. And they're going to even be more mad if what's going to happen happens. Yeah, we will. It's Just say it and bleep it. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> Should I say it? Yeah, you can say it and you can bleep, bleep it. it. Sugar Shane versus Peter Yawn. October 22nd, Abu Dhabi. Do not fucking repeat that. You bleeded it? You bleeded uh, it? Schmidt, Okamoto. Uh, uh, 
bleep out the October 22nd. And okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave it in there. Yeah, Schmidt Akamoto. But it's going to come out in two days anyway. So, uh, Who you got, though? Aljo or TJ? Aljo and TJ, dude. Wow. Wow, what That's a good a fight. Matchup. I have. I think I have TJ. I mean, TJ Man. can wrestle like a motherfucker. He wrestled in college. He's very athletic. Um, I mean, Aljo's jiu-jitsu is good, though. It, if if he does score on you, like I said, you have to get up. To get up, you have to go be on all fours. And he takes your back with his long legs and the body triangle. You're going to be stuck there for a while. And hopefully you can defend the neck. Uh, but overall, I think top to bottom, I think TJ's a better fighter. I think his striking's super slick. I mean, just watching him come back and fight. Who did he just fight? Corey, right? Because he was off? Yeah. Corey. Sick oh, yeah. fucking fight. God damn. Is that for the belt? Yeah. It's for the belt. Yep. Aldo Dang. versus TJ. That's gonna be a big card. Yeah, in 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 Insane. Abu Dhabi too. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. I think like they're a morning card over here, huh? Yeah, they're planning on being a, a real big one. So that's good. Yeah, we watched that uh, that that uh, sex show too. Yeah, I've seen it too. Did you watch it? Yeah. Would you Would you want a room like I that? Or are you good with it? I mean, well, if I had a fat ass crib, yeah, if I had the extra. Yeah, yeah, room of for course, it, of course. That'd be kind of sick. Would sick. she like it? Yeah, we were talking about it because I was like asking her, like, "Oh, are you into that? Are you into that?" Like, I was like. Uh-huh. And she was telling me what she was into. Have you ever watched any porn with Nisa? Never. Not yet. Not yet. I'll be good. One day. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, what else we got going on, you guys? Have you ever watched porn with uh, Brendan? Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) The first time I ever saw porn in my life was with Brendan at his house. (laughs) Yeah, we were in elementary school. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah, and we were like, it was like, what the fuck is that moment when you're a kid? You know what I mean? And then I was a changed man. Started jerking off Brandon. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, uh, what bat- else we got, Schmidt? What do we got in your well, notes? Well, what about uh, oh. Bachelorette started last night? Yeah, the new Bachelorette. We watched the previous season, right? Bachelor. Now? And now there's two girls on the Bachelorette. Jay, you got to check it out. It's real shit, top to bottom. Fake ass show. <laughs> your favorite it's, it's real. not fake i remember when i lived with you guys you guys always like those type of shows yeah. that's tim's favorite type of show it's so funny watching those guys and their opening lines and i know it's so hard to talk to a girl it's so fucking hard to talk to a girl i mean the best thing you can do is just be yourself obviously but watching those guys and their opening lines and then watching these guys try to stick out because they want to stay and then watching the guys that are saying the same things to both girls it's just entertaining watching how these people act there's like this YouTube channel that does um kind of dating stuff. And it's like, you could tell that show's real. And it'll be like segments of like, one that I watched was you just have to judge the girls. So it's one guy and they judge like five girls just off their tattoos. And then they pick one at the end. I don't know. It's pretty cool. But they do What's it crazy called? stuff like that. Like, I think the page is called Jubal. Or I don't know. I'll send it to you. Okay. I have another one where it's like a blind date and you're in a box, like a literal box for 24 hours just you two it likes your first Whoa. time meeting oh my god yeah, 24, hours. 24 hours does the guy ever make out or finger blast a girl uh no but they're no no dang you could tell like if they're feeling each other like in the beginning and do they kiss yeah there's some that kiss i think they've only done like two episodes of that but it's pretty interesting yeah i would definitely have to fucking tim likes like the more reality tv shows because I don't know. We don't have a lot of drama in our life. So he, we like living through the drama of those people. <laughs> and he has a hard time following like the storylines, like a normal like series TV show. Every once in a while, we'll find a good one. But he's not into that. Like I like to try to guess and like figure out what's going on next. But he's not into that. I mean, sometimes a little bit like sometimes. On, on, on the, on the You're a little bit autistic then. Yeah, 100 percent. 100 percent. On the spectrum. Watch started watching a little bit of Yellowstone on the flight. I really like that. That was like a perfect show for a flight. Kind yeah, of into that. I didn't think you would like that at all because I've watched a few episodes and I'm like, oh, he'd hate this. That's the thing. When I'm watching a show and I, I, I mean, we have so much going on. I'm, I'm thinking about shit. I'm talking to the boys and I'm not good at doing multiple things, especially watching a show. I need to watch the show and be into the show and then I can get into it. But if I'm fucking on the computer or on my phone or on something else and I'm just trying to see what's yeah, going you on. You miss I, things. Yeah. And then I'm like, fuck. I think a lot of people go through that. I go through that lately, champ. It's just because you're a busy guy. You're always doing shit, thinking about shit. And plus we have that tech, that phone in our damn hand that just changes everything. And a lot what's of that, going on? a lot of that phones work. I'm like, we have two, I have to run two podcasts a, a week and pretty much run them. And then Patreon content. And then, uh, Teaching. The gym, the teaching, super important. What I'm going to teach, 
um yeah there's a lot of shit going on because being creative it's like you, these ideas come to you at random times you feel like you have to write them down so you can't really but sometimes i'm not bad at just sitting down and watching a show Yeah, you'll put your phone up and like just chill and just take a break yeah. and it's good to shut your mind off once in a while because when we watch our shows too we take a dab we take a little dab and sometimes i take dabs and i i feel like some of my best ideas come when i'm dabbed out 100 percent, especially in the morning when you get stoned but champ back to the Yes, wake up and you start thinking of shit. But back to Sean's getting us a Jobin house. Thank you, Sean. We're moving September 1st. Life changing shit. How much is the rent going to be? Uh, we don't know 100% right now between the three of us. Probably anywhere from like six to 700. But if we get a fourth person, it would uh, bring it down a little bit. So, yeah. Any ladies, huh? I think it's five. Uh, when sh yeah, when Sean gets back from doing his thing, he's gonna take me there and we're gonna check it out. So is he gonna put his gamer studio there? In yeah, there? one room's gonna be a pod room for me and Brendan for our pod, his gamer room, and then we got three bedrooms. And you guys are gonna have a pool? Yeah. Oh, there. Oh, wow. I didn't know it had a pool. Mm -hmm. Wow. See, dude, but here's my thing, guys. My head with Jobin, I want to make this big. You know what I mean? Well, How I'm, fun yeah. would it be doing content, the yeah. dating content? Well, in any of the content, we'll we'll be able to do it. We'll oh be able God, to with do it. Sono, if we had Sono be a bachelor and we just had him <laughs> with a bunch of chicks, dude, yeah. Brendan, oh dude, Jay, yeah. <laughs> like it could just be endless. It's hard now. I mean, it'll be it'll be fun doing that. I yeah. mean, just thinking about the full send boys and all the Nelk boys and yeah. having our group and going out. Like I would had I had fun with those guys, but with our group doing yes. that yacht party, doing all that shit with our Jobin group would have been epic. Huh, oh Jay? God. Yeah. One day we'll get there, champ. No, we will. But yeah. the, right now, right now we got to be. S the fuck? Is that someone here? Whole party's here. What up, guys? Um, sorry, someone's in the gym. I don't know who's fucking yeah. around. Sounds like a woman. If it's a woman, come on back. Uh, but no, for right now, dude, we gotta focus. I mean, on training, we gotta oh, yeah, focus no, no, on training. No. That, that's gotta be the main focus right now. Or, or 100%. you know what's gonna happen? Sugar's going to get his ass beat. Oh, no, yeah. And I'm for that, champ. Because guess what? Like, anything that I meant for, like, the Jobin name would be me and Brendan and Sono doing our, like, doing our thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Doing it yeah. outside where you guys don't even have to worry or think about it. Yeah. I mean, shit. we come along and do it. But after fighting, we're going to be able to do some yeah. really epic shit. Maybe we'll have a, we'll get a big warehouse and have it be kind of the Jobin factory. It'll be, it'll be cool. Yeah. But, but right, right now, it's like, God, dude, I'm focus. right there with you. I was even telling Brendan, I'm like, Sean's fight, like, not... Every UFC fighter, obviously. But when you get up to these guys who are the top tens and these killers who have been there, done that, they're not doing these yacht parties with the Nelk boys or doing crazy things. They're in that fucking gym all the time. And I know Sean's all, you guys do your thing and you guys are champs at it. Yeah. But it was something I was like, man, it's getting, because Sean, you guys are growing and it's just getting more and more. So that was stuff yeah. I was thinking about too. I oh for sure i mean the, i mean the, they're they're people enjoy their shit it's like peter yawn i said no to a fight recently this is kind of deal said no to a fight because you want to go on vacation it's like we can go on vacation yeah. and it's not like we're going on these yacht parties just doing nothing and it's like we're still working yeah i mean it's weird that you can call it work but it is work we're doing pods we're oh, getting to know these full sin happy dead guys and stuff but no you're right you're right the focus is important but sean knows that he's not stupid yeah he's not stupid he knows what he needs to do 100 percent. and uh yeah but it would be easy to get swayed if we really started focusing on all that after fighting we'll be able to focus on all being creative being funny yeah. doing all that shit so like you always say little things at a time little things at a time what else you got in your little notebook schmitters uh well dude talking about girls man i was oh, dude there's this cute girl olivia at starbucks and here i am I'm all by myself. There's no one behind me in line. So it was like a good time. I'm like, ooh, I'm going to try and get her Instagram. And then, no, I didn't even try. <laughs> and remember, I remember in the past where you were like, I talk to girls. No, I talk to girls. I'm like, okay, we went to Sicilian Butcher. There's a cutie at the desk. I'm like, I mean, super cute. And she seems super nice. I said, Schmitty, just give her a compliment don't even ask for anything just say hey your hair's really pretty or you're really pretty just give her a compliment he couldn't do it he was fucking nervous. just frozen i do i get nervous because i just feel like 
I'm me and what I look like, and I'm like, God, oh, this. And then it's like you're at work, and it's like I don't want to be that weird guy. How many Sir, How many times have you been? I'm, someone said a compliment to you, and you've been offended. I don't really get. I never get compliments. <laughs> <laughs> but what about you, Mariah? Has a guy ever gave you a compliment, and you felt like shut the fuck up ever? Um. <laughs> I'm sure there's been tones like when a guy comes off. It like, just depends, yeah. Like if they're just being nice, but if they're kind of like you know, sometimes it depends. Like if they're creepy, like yeah. the environment too. Though, yeah, you know? like if you're at a club, obviously, like complimenting me because you want to fuck me or what? That's what I would think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always think like, what do you want? Yeah, not yeah, I always. Smash. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. well, let me smash. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like oh, sometimes, Mariah, remember it's like, when thank you. that guy came up to you, Danny, <laughs> and I was right there. And he just oh, came out like super creepy. Oh, he was so creepy. Yeah. So creepy. And like, he would not like leave us alone. And Jay just had finally had. To and it, I just, I just looked at him like, bro, did I, it, I didn't even say anything. I just looked at him like kind of mean. And he was just like, oh, okay. and, like, he just walked away. Did like, it was, take him balls to come up to you girls and just start conversating? Yeah, but he probably. was creepy. He was probably In what way? Too. He was creepy, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, he was. What His made it creepy? Oh, okay. Just yeah. horny? Yeah, you could tell. I don't know. Energy. He was just like, yeah, the energy of it. It's not like fun, like loose. It was just like creepy, like you're going to yeah. try to kidnap me. <laughs> yeah, like he was almost like way too close. Yes. To, like, yeah. Yeah. I felt it. It's just a vibe. That, I don't know how to explain it. You had to that dog. I was just like, I got that dog in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, as soon as Jay right, looked right, at him, baby. he left. He was yeah. like, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but he was creepy. Don't fuck with our little Vato. It'll take you out. <laughs> Uh, so what? what's your advice for Schmitty to get a girl? I mean, God damn it, he's desperate. God, like what? How do you do it? How do you, what do you say? Is it okay? Would that be okay for well, me to go, hey, you're real pretty? Well, I think I like start with compliments and just don't ask for anything else. Hand okay. Job? No, <laughs> I would never ask. Don't, so don't even ask for an Instagram? Maybe not. Maybe if okay. you see him again and be like, hey, do you have an Instagram? I don't know. Like, I think it's hard because it just depends on vibe. Like, if you think she has a good vibe with you, then yeah, Oof. or else it is creepy. Okay. I just think it's so important to every time you have the chance, shoot your shot and expect, I mean, be really nice and bubbly about it, but don't let it fucking dig at you if they say, I have a boyfriend or no, not right now, because you don't know what kind of mood they're in and don't let that ruin your confidence for the next time you see a girl. I mean, every single time you have the opportunity, just get comfortable getting shut down. It's okay. Dude, Who gives a fuck? Asking for Instagram is so like less aggressive than like a number or anything because yeah. it's just Instagram. Yeah. It's like, do you have Instagram? I think so too. I think now in this yeah. day and age, Instagram's the way to go. Okay, well, see, because I was looking at Instagram like a phone number. That's how I'm like, is it kind of not at all? Because it's like you like you can DM and shit, so it takes it to a level. Yeah, but they can decide if they want to reply or like they can I look at know. your profile and like kind of get a feeling of like kind of who you are. Or, like I don't know. Yeah, it's better. Like a number is really personal. A lot of people don't want to give you your phone number. I don't want to give my fucking number out. It's like, dude. No. <laughs> 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 yeah um yeah schmitters i think you just gotta do it it's gotta go just well, gotta do you can't be a bitch more confident like if you just just try giving like compliments and just simple ones or asking you'll get more confident like you'll get like fat shorty <laughs> no well the thing is is i'm so i'm good behind the keyboard like on instagram i do have right and then are I'm you good how good decent are you Oh God! <laughs> I'm just All right, well something. here we go. No, <laughs> uh, but enough to where I'm saying, hey, you're cute. I almost was gonna go on and uh, get a drink with a chick, but then you know, never, yeah, you know, it didn't happen. Because what, what are you kind of? Are you hoping for like a girl to come to the door, knock on it, and say, no, hey. I've gotten better with going out, but just not in per like in person. Yeah, because in person. I'm a scared little bitch. Well, you know I think what I mean? You just have to practice, literally. Yeah. Like anytime to learn communication, you just have to practice. And mm -hmm. like you start off not good at it, but the more you do it, the better you'll get. And like, mm -hmm. yeah, you might get denied or shut down and just try not to let that ruin your confidence and just try different yeah. things and be like, oh, that worked. And like every girl's not going to be for you. True. Like oh, him true. and I get along really well, but like if he tries to date another girl, I try to date another guy, like we're probably not going to get along. Like everybody kind of has a person that they get along with better than someone else yeah. thank you yeah it's tough that was real it's fucking tough because have you been <laughs> do you max on your swipes every day yeah yeah those don't work for me champ i get nothing i don't think they work a lot either i yeah. swipe i swipe a lot i don't get shit yeah. mariah gets a lot when she swipes yeah i even put my bio sometimes can you just tell me what what's yeah. wrong like can you swipe to tell me what's wrong well every every girl you've swiped on i mean 
like usually swipes it back it's, it's weird but you said even now on tinder compared to years ago when it was just mostly girls now it's just couples mm -hmm. mostly couples mm -hmm. which is crazy yeah and i think like a lot of times girls aren't like maybe i don't know i feel like a lot of times they're not on there a lot so like they'll go like days or weeks without checking it and then be like oh you matched with them weeks ago and then not say anything or you didn't say anything or i don't know i think it's harder on there yeah you know what i think my problem is i'm an overthinker yeah I overthink way too much i, I do that too yeah because then when like i when think I'm, everyone does yeah because even the like the tinder and bumble those kind of make me a little sad because i'm like man there's so many people that girls can just swipe through like I don't know, it just makes you know dude schmidt i thinking. never get matches on that shit yeah, i just, don't yeah. yeah i just don't i don't know why yeah i don't I don't know. It's weird. I think I think I would get a lot more matches if I didn't have you on there too. But that's yeah. part of the agreement. It's part of like the girl knows. Yeah. Well, then you're not like advertising yourself as single trying yeah. to date because I think a lot of girls do want that. Like yeah. they want to find someone to date. So then if you're like, I'm on here to date and they get the wrong impression, I don't think that's fair for me or you or her. Yeah. I, would it be better to just say I'm here to fuck? Yeah. In the bio? Sure. Sure. <laughs> I could try it for a couple of days. See if it, I'm here to <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Let's both it's try it and see what work. happens. It's not going to fucking work. Dude. God. Yeah, I don't know how you meet people nowadays. Like, we met when we were 19 in college, like, 12 years ago. Like, that's a long time. Like, dating now, I think, is way harder. It's hard. I think so, too. It's so hard. Because, like, we go be in college, so you're around, like, all the same group of people, you know, or, like, people your age, or go to the parties, so you see people, so you meet. Like, I don't know now honestly how you'd meet yeah but knowing you're in a city with millions of people millions dude and there, endless beautiful there's girls got to be blind date setups that come up and you meet a girl and she's gonna love your energy that'd be kind of a funny vlog too me and brennan going on some i wouldn't even vlog like it i wouldn't date? even vlog it i would just really? go do it yeah go do it yeah. just Let's go find one Let's, that would be oh god guys Remember i'd be they, so nervous they did it on the love on the spectrum uh-huh Remember they went to table to table. That's what I picture Schmitty's. <laughs> I'll do it, life. but we all gotta do it. We gotta do it as a group. It's gotta be a whole day event. <laughs> that might work though, because those people are looking for someone to date too. You know. Yeah. And then I, you can feel if you vibe with them or not. You're not yeah. gonna vibe okay. with everybody. Jane, it'd be fun. July twenty third, Saturday at ten p.m. Glendale speed dating. Oh, that's Saturday this night. That's this weekend. Yep. Well, well Saturday up. we're doing that meet and greet. No, we're not. No. Oh, we're not anymore. No. No, uh -huh. that's canceled. We'll probably do that. He just posted today. Oh, next weekend. Yeah, yeah, next. So weekend. we're free this weekend. So you can go oh, on your speed dating. Yeah. <laughs> so our event offers a fresh alternative to speed dating and matchmaking. We don't find anything rom romantic about whistles. Well, I just clicked on it here. Uh, about whistles, name tags, or over the top party trimmings, typically found at singles events. So we have done away with them, creating an atmosphere that is at once casual and comfortable it's what we called it's what we call cheeky chick meet a partner to attend concerts musical festivals bar crawls or fitness classes someone who shares the passions and interests from sports to yoga all your studies in one speed our personable host will assist you with my cheeky date date make scorecard flirty and fun your scorecard is just the beginning chat up our hosts for tips or simply ask which direction the bar is in after being shown your table the ladies will remain seated for the duration of the event the gents move from lovely lady to lovely lady every six to seven minutes. Simply jot down your potential date mates at the bottom of your scorecard and we'll take care of the rest. For those who garner matches, you'll be notified via, via email within 24 hours of the event, ending of your date mate results. All else, the event is over, but the night has just begun. Feel free to stay as long as you would like to mingle further. All we need are the date mate scorecards to determine if love is in the air for you. If you're interested in reading about it, maybe with package okay? Okay, what do you sign think? Up. <laughs> <coughs> Sounds just like 40 year old version. Have you ever seen that movie? No. Oh wow, it's a classic. Oh yeah, just, yeah, no, I've seen it. It's yeah, they go on speed date in that movie. Yeah. So that's what I'm picturing, like what it's like. Yep. But you might find a girl to oh, go on yeah. a date with. Oh yeah, no, it'd be fun. You might as well try. Oh yeah. This weekend. I just wouldn't want to do it alone. I wouldn't want to do we'll it. We'll take alone. Brendan. Yeah. Yeah, you would have to sign you both up. Yeah. Then I'd be cool. Okay. Can we sign you up? Right this moment? Well, when we're done here? Maybe when we're done here. 
<laughs> Why? Are you, you're scared to go on a blind scared? date. That's what everyone's there for. All right, all right let's do it. We'll do it. There Sign could be your future out, baby. wife there. I could find my wife. You're right. And literally, you pussing out could be like, well, there she goes. I know. That's the thing. That's the thing where you sit at the after you puss out on doing something, and you're sitting there going, I wonder what. But what if? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's breaking that. It's fucking crazy. Well, it's fucking way worse. To just not try at all. 100%. Way worse than to just fail, whatever. 100%. Uh, there's all a right. lot of those speed datings, dude. You go to start going to those speed datings, you're going to find a well, chick. Well, let's do some research and f- do some little I research. I would go to every, if I was in your position, I'd go to every fucking one and just get <laughs> used to <laughs> well, get, conversating yeah. with girls. True, yeah. Practice. Right. True. And then you might get more confident in talking like in the, the Starbucks world. girl. Like. Yeah. Damn, you're right. All right. And dude, especially you're gonna have a sweet house with a pool. Oh god. We'll have barbecues there. I wonder if it's you guys are gonna be able to keep it clean. I wonder what kind of drama is gonna pop up in that house. I'm the between me and Brennan, just so you know, champ, and you can do a room raid any day of the week. Okay. I'm the clean one. Okay. What about laundry? Dude, just he he, by the way, just did it to me. And guess what? He left his uh his shit wet in the in the dryer. So what did I do? Where I was you ask? Took a piss. I dried no, I dried it for him. I took care of it and I put it on his bed. And now did I say anything to him when he when he came home that night? Didn't say a thing. What did he say to me? Hey man, thanks for taking care of my laundry for me. Cause that's what a bro does. He was grateful, so that's why you did it. Exactly. And I'll do it every time. That's good to know. Yeah. Uh, but How, look at back. Ha, have, have you guys been have you been trying to stay consistent at the gym? Oh yeah, we're back at it, champ. We're have back you? at it. Yeah. What do you do? There? I need to teach you to lift. I so I mean, sitting in the sauna is good and stuff, but you, mm. you need to lift some weights. Yeah. Well, that's the thing because I I don't know what I'm doing. I'm basically just going there and doing stuff that I'm like I don't I couldn't even tell you what the machine's called. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, and you could hurt yourself too. I well, know. I'll sponsor you for a, a private if you can book a, a private with a trainer mm-hmm. and say this is kind of my goals. This is what I want, and let him teach you a couple workouts that then that then you can do on your own. Yeah. Because I don't want to get big. I want to get lean. I would like to get solid. You're, if you lift, you're not going to get big. Yeah. Because I don't want to be Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, your size. If you were pretty big, not big, yeah. not Bradley Martin big. Yeah. But Jack did probably pull some more puss for sure. Oh, 100%. So what else we got going on today? I got Luke coming over. I'm setting up my stream for Twitch. I got a new camera. Every week, Mariah and I are, are doing a, like a solo pod on Patreon only, answering questions, going over subjects that I can't go over kind of on here, and their quality. We've got nice mics, good sound, and we're getting this new camera that's just going to be sick. Also for my, my Twitch stream too, setting that up this weekend. Uh, there was a little vlog of some behind the scenes and I apologize for the edits because they're on my phone. I'm not like the great JX Soto with the edits. So that's on Patreon too. Some behind the scenes of the Florida trip. Uh, and there's constantly content going up there. So guys, if you want to support the YouTube page, please subscribe. I know it's fucking annoying hearing people say that, but it helps out more than you think. Just click the subscribe button and it helps out a lot. Um, also, if you like the video, it helps pop up for other people, the likes and comments, it's crazy how much those matter and how much those help us keep going and keep grinding. Uh, check out the Brandon and Schmitty show. Yes, please. Thank you, champ. Yep. It's growing. It's growing and we want to keep growing it. So thanks Mariah for coming on. Yep. Uh, thanks JX for being JX. Thanks for having me on too, champ. Yep. Appreciate it. See you guys next week. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Cheers.